when I was a child, we would watch cartoons in the morning. And I could specifically remember the Mickey Mouse short cartoons. And there was this one episode when he's hunting Upland Game with his dog Pluto. And ever since then, I've just been very interested in it. I'm Ruben Mata. I'm 33 years old. I'm a diesel mechanic. Been doing it since I was 17. So I'm fortunate enough that I get to do that for a living. Being first generation American, I didn't have all the resources when I was younger to get introduced to hunting, but I was always involved in outdoors and stuff like that. I got my first dog and I named him Pluto. <laughs> Once I started getting older, we would walk for miles out on the river bottom and we wouldn't come home until we were tired and hungry. Oh, calm down, <laughs> we're gonna head up here to the right. There's a little drainage that goes through here. We're gonna head up here to the right, get on the other side of the drainage. Watching the dog work, like that's, that gives me butterflies, you know what I mean? When I see him lock up and just to know that that's what they're bred to do and you get to see it is a joy, you know? And me just shooting it is a bonus. I feel sad when I, when I miss, you know, everybody misses and I feel bad for him, but you know, I, I think that's what it is. It's the love for dogs and their work and what they're bred to do. Oh, look at he's, he's on. Whoop! Whoa. Oh, the hawk got one. Heel. Oh. Fetch, find it, find it, find it, find it. Fetch, good boy, bring it here. Here. Here, 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 come on. Good boy. Now we need to go find the rest. Once I got older, I started doing my own research and stuff like that. I found, I tried searching public property and like how to, how to get into hunting and search, search, and search. I came across this one club. Of course, they, they want every penny in your pocket but I was willing to do it so I could get out there and, and, and then figure it out and it was a bust. So one of the days on Dove Opener, I called the guy that ran the memberships on this side of, the, of California and uh, he was supposed to meet me up there and <clears throat> I showed up early at the, at the gate. Nobody was there, but I seen a car that was pulling up and, and then it was a bunch of uh, dudes from Ventura. I asked them if they were involved with the club that I was a part of. They kind of giggled and said, no, we're here on our own. We're with Quill Forever. Good boy. Fetch it. Got a boy. Bring him. Here. 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 Good boy. And it was tough kind of humbling yourself and asking if you could tag along because a lot of people don't like new people coming around. So they were gracious enough and, and nice enough to uh, take me with them. Had my son at the time, and uh, been history ever since with those with those guys. We're in the Los Padres National Forest, and um, this forest goes on for ever it's it's one of the biggest forests what? there is out here um and uh we're out here chasing quail you know trying to find them trying to see if my dog's working his nose is working good he did pretty good today I 
I have uh, two boys, a 12-year-old and a 7-year-old. I was fortunate enough to have children at a younger age. That way, you know, I'm out here hunting and I don't get tired. I can still outrun them, so I still got an advantage on them. My 12-year-old son shot his first wild bird today with a beautiful CZ over-under that he had the opportunity to use today. And um, he has his own shotgun. I bought him a shotgun for Christmas a couple years back, and uh, he's been coming with me as much as he can because with sports and school, it's super, super hard for him. So today we okay, ran to a, into a great covey and I will say this on film, I shot that bird and I did not hit it. And my 12 year old son nailed it out of the air. It was, it was beautiful. As a kid, my kids don't play outside unless I'm outside there with them. So, you know, I, I make it a point to bring them out in places like this. Once I started hunting, I wanted to get a hang of it first. Once he, I got him on to make sure he got his hunter safety, all that set up and he passed. And I've been bringing them ever since. How can you not like this? You know, in some states you don't even see mountains. And this is literally in our backyard, you know, so I just want them to, to know that this exists and, you know, and you don't always buy your food at the grocery store, you know, and that's, you know, everybody's about eating organic, Good organic, job. organic, but I don't think it gets any more organic than hunting it yourself, you know. Here. And that's kind of yeah. where, how it all comes back around, you know what I mean? And I want him to do it for as long as he possibly can and show his kids and, you know, pass it on.